Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Malika and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how I broke it by Doc Martin Jaden Boots. So yeah, that's not much for this intro. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also comment down below if you want to see me do a lookbook on these boots and follow me on Instagram at Jasmine Malika and that is it. Let's just get into all the tips. Okay, so my first tip is when you initially get your boots, open the package, go to the store, come home, they get delivered, you go in your room, you're all excited. My first tip is to like massage the boots. That makes sense. Just kind of like loosen them up a bit because they're stiff, they're hard, and all that. So you just want to like massage them for a bit. Not that long. I only did it honestly for maybe like two minutes for each boot and I'm not 100% sure if it made a difference but that is what that's the first thing I did when I looked at videos about people buying them that is what I did was massage the boot just to get it ready <laughs> My second tip is band-aids. Wear band-aids on the back of your ankles. Even, it's just like a precaution. Like when you try them on, kind of see if you lean, like kind of bend your foot down a bit. You can feel where part of the boot, to be exact, kind of like this part. Is my camera will focus? Basically where this part is. You'll feel it hit the back of your ankle, and that's where I'll tape it at. Put well, put put my band-aid at because that is more than likely where it will start to create like a blister. Because I did not do that beforehand, and I got one, but luckily I only got one on one ankle. And so I just started putting it on both of them, and I I don't wear them anymore, but. It is like a great tip until you start breaking in your shoes and if you tend to get like blisters on the back of your ankles a lot I guess you could do it but I that's like the first time I've ever gotten one I know some people will get them from wearing like vans and stuff but I never have but this is like the first time so wearing band-aids it is tip number three is to wear them all the time Time. mainly wear them in the house I feel like that is such like a good tip mainly because if you're in the house you're walking around just like while you're cleaning and stuff if they start to hurt your feet you can take them off whereas if you like you're in public and they start to hurt your feet your best bet is just to go and sit down and if you can't then like you're SOL like you're just gonna be walking around with your feet hurt so if you wear them in the house you still wear them out in public but mainly in the house when you're first starting off and it'll just help break them in. When I first got mine, I wore them like very straight in my house, mainly because I was excited, but also to help break them in. And I really feel like it did it justice because now these, like, all the time they hurt is if like I'm going hours. Like, I once wore these boots for like 12 hours. <sighs> Any shoes would make your feet hurt, but these were like crazy. But. I can go six hours without these hurting. I, at my family's Christmas party, wore them the entire night and I was like dancing and drinking. Did not hurt my feet at all because I'd broken them in by then. So wearing them as often as you can, it is key to breaking them in. So wearing them around the house, up and down stairs, walking long distances, well, like go walk around your backyard or walk down the street, just to get a feel for them. It is key. And then my fourth and final step, well it's that mess up, <laughs> my fourth and final um, tip is to wear socks. Either wear thick socks or long socks or thick and long socks. Socks, thick, long socks. Those are key. I, for, when I first got them, I tried to wear thick socks in order to stop like the blistering. But since I have wider feet, the thick socks add space and like room stuff that I need for my foot and so I wouldn't be able to like 
zip my boot, my boot up. So I just had to settle for wearing long socks that are not super thin, but just like regular long socks. And those work really well too. It just basically helps it not blister in the back of your foot. That is like one of the main things, wearing socks and band-aids, a combination, and I haven't gotten blisters at all. So that is another vital key, is to wear long socks. And it also help because the bottom of the boot is kind of like wooden. So you'd want something to like protect your foot and give you comfort because these shoes are not, they're comfortable, but they're not comfortable. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, and that is it for these tips. I hope you guys liked them. They weren't like anything extraordinary or new to your ears. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Um, yeah, these are just, it's just what I did to break in my boots. And honestly, I broke mine in within like a week. Like, so quick. And I was honestly surprised because like, I saw, was looking at all the videos and reviews and stuff. And people were like, it's gonna take you months or these hurt so bad or just a bunch of different things but I broke these in so quick and I'm glad because I wear them every single chance I get I love wearing them they make me just a tad bit taller not too much but just enough and they're so cute I can wear them with anything the only like problem I have I think it's because of my like wide feet that I can't lace them up all the way to tie them which I feel will help with more like ankle support because I'm always stripping and falling. So that's like my only core. I just need to buy long shoelaces and these will be 100% perfect. But yeah, these are the perfect boot. Okay, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked my tips like I just said. And yeah, comment down below if you wanna see me do a lookbook with this. I want to so I'll probably do it anyway but I'm trying to wait till it gets like closer to spring because I have outfits for that and then like outfits for the winter so I'll probably do it within the coming weeks and yeah that's it comment down below if you like this video and also give it a thumbs up I will greatly appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video and follow me on Instagram at Jasmine Malika and like my pictures and I'll like yours back so yeah I'll catch you guys in my next video I am posting next Sunday I've been consistent this is my third week in a row holla at your girl Consistent with the videos, consistent with my schoolwork. I am a working, everyday working girl. I don't know. Whatever. Bye. That's it. Bye. <laughs>